Welcome to IT and Automation Academy. It's Noman here. Today we will talk about what is DCS and why it's so, it's so important to talk about DCS. And what is the network architecture of the DCS? And being a control system engineer, is it really important to know about DCS? This is coming in that series of the DCS training and that will be very interesting stay with me first we will talk about what is centralized control system in every plant you know there are different units different processes going on every unit or every area is having its own processes going on there and for example if you have three areas in one plant area one area two and area three and you put one controller there one centralized PLC there to control all three areas. Now what will happen if in, in the case that controllers fails, all areas that are connected with that one are, are going to be stopped, all the process is going to be stopped and whole plant is going to be shut down. But to sort out that problem, we have another solution. That is what we call a distributed control system. In distributed control system, what we are going to do, we put different controllers and they, we, we assign each controller for each area. And now, for example, area one PLC is going to be down or, or going to be due to any problem, due to CPU error or something like due to communication errors. That CPU is not properly working and that PLC of area one is not working. The areas two, area three are still working. So now you distribute it your task into three different controllers and if in the case area one controller goes down it will not affect other areas so this is the beauty of distributed control systems now what is DCS DCS or distributed control system is a control system for a processor plan where your control elements or controller are distributed in the network or in the system now you see in that particular diagram we have different areas and in each area we have different controllers you see area 1 have its own controller area 2 have its own area 3 have its own controller area 4 have its own controller so now these all controllers are on the network of fiber and that fiber is connected with that particular switch there you can see there and then that switch is connected to the LAN network in that LAN network we have operator station, engineering station, servers even printer there so but the main concept is in area 1 and area 2 area 3 area 4 you have its own controller there not only one controller in one area you have redundant controllers like in area 1 you have two controllers one is the main controller one is a redundant for in the case main controller phase redundant will take over same is in area 2 you have main controller redundant controller this is the beauty of the DCS controls or distributed control system. If one particular system or one particular area is going to be shut down, others, even one controller get down, there is a possibility. You have, a, you know, still work by second controller. Second controller will take over the job. In the case both fail, that then that particular area will be shut down. So this is the beauty of DCS that in DCS you have distributed control elements they are not in one side or one there is no one controller controlling all activities and th this is the network like these are all connected on the ring you see this is a fiber ring and you have two cables you can see here one for main one for redundant and these are all connected to the switch and then switch is connect connected to that particular LAN there DCS are connected to the sensors and actuator and it's used set point to control the flow of material throughout the process plan or it's controlling a process plant or process and process by set points the most common example of DCS is a set point control DCS itself sends a set point for some pressure for example the pressure measured by the transmitter is now sent back to the controller 
and now controller will read it and the controller based on the program you write in that one the controller instruct a wall or an actuator to operate so that the process reaches and keeps at the desired set point required by the programmer or required by the process requirement large oil and gas refineries have several thousand ius so example scenarios where we are using dcs are chemical plants petrochemical cement plants boiler controls like power pump plants nuclear plants sugar refining plants and fertilizer plants so in dcs we have different things in that connect together to form that dcs system first one is a control station in control station what you have you are having there you have different combination of devices there in certain you know what we call it control panels and the control panels consist of racks controllers power modules smart ios terminal modules communication network and these all cabinet can be distributed in in different areas in the plant so this is what we call it control station and now remember these control stations are actually connected with the field instruments like you can see here we having uh, one prefi bus and that prefi bus is connected to some hmis energy meters drives plcs and then plcs are connected also to the to the field instrument and there are some signals that are going towards the dcs by prefi bus or field bus but there are some signals that are going directly to the terminal blocks of the that particular dcs so the story actually start from sensing and sensing based on your field level in field level you have different devices these are all actually connected to that particular dcs so now if from that dcs where is the next level the next level is definitely as i told you before we are connected towards one switch and that i told you the fiber ring you remember that ring and then these we are all connected to that particular fiber ring and that fiber ring is terminated to the switch and then that switch is connected on lan and on lan we have operator stations also engineering stations also so that is control station now i will tell you what is uh, operator stations and why it's so important to know about that 